Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to Commission Reviews. This is part two, uh, reunion, recap, uh, however you want to say it. Okay. Now, I know we did the recap of some of the people that were on here with the old catch story. We got to see behind the scenes how some of the men spoke about the ladies, things that we didn't know about. But I'm going to go ahead and get to the nit grit. First. Jason and Kyra. Now, Kyra accused Jason by saying, you're pretty much telling me I have somebody. You need to make a decision. Jason tried to tell her no. What I saw from Kyra was passion. She wanted this man. He didn't want her. Well, I'm not saying he didn't want her at all. She couldn't make a decision, and she felt like because he made a decision... It really wasn't fair because she wasn't ready to make one. I don't know. I felt like it was a little bit too much to me. He pretty much wanted to know what she wanted to do. This whole entire time, she wasn't making a decision. And for people in the back that say that Jason wanted Kyra or whatever, he shut that down. I'm sorry. As a man for him to say, you say I was torn between you two, but I had feelings for her. Boom. He did. He had feelings from Liz from the ball. What episode is the ball episode? How far back? The ball wasn't even in the mid mid part of the show. When you got to go like this, and that's what Kyra was doing. I'm telling you guys, Kyra really wanted Jason. Or if she didn't want Jason, her pride was bruised because she didn't get what she wanted. She didn't like it. Okay? I've already told you guys how I felt about that. I told you guys that she got back on the show thinking that something was going to happen with her and Jason in it. They also brought up, they got David. David with the whole password with Stacy. You know, they got to cover that. And Jason said, I am over this SHIT to his woman that he's obviously still with. And Liz was very much a lady saying, look, I'm happy you got to talk. It's over with. Moving on. Boom. But her and David got to talk as well. Okay. Um, David denied everything. Now, we weren't there. We weren't privy to the conversation. It wasn't recorded now that I know about. About as far as David walking out, not walking out. Who do you believe in a situation? I don't know them personally, but I'm not going to lie. I kind of believe Liz more. But it's still, again, I know it's a, a conversation that you can't just say, I know they said it because I don't know who said it. Liz said that David walked out and was upset and said to his friends that, hey, did you, uh, did you uh, kiss Jason again? And he's denying it. It is what it is. But I'm going to say this about that. You're denying the fact that you that you didn't say that. But you made a point of mentioning the kiss. And I'm going to take it here. The day in deliberation when you and the guys, when you mentioned the kiss, for the first time, Liz was up there on the chopping block, as I say, because you made a point of making her name in the conversation. See, whenever they go to liberation, if one person says a person's name, it's like, oh, you know what? We haven't gotten to know each other or whatever it is. So I think David felt the way. Sometimes I feel like the men on the show felt like, you know, you my woman. And how dare you go against what I, you know, that's, that is the feeling that I got about this season. I'm sorry if you think I'm wrong or if I am wrong, I'm sorry too, but not sorry for saying it. Okay, now what I wanted to talk about, what I really wanted to talk about, is Vernicia and Joel. Let me get a sip of my energy drink before I start this. I know y'all see I'm all tattooed up. Trust and believe what you're thinking. Some of that's probably true. 
But I'm going to say this. I'm not scared of anybody or anyone or anything except for my mama, and that's it. And God. Okay? When I do the reviews, you shouldn't take it personal because you guys put yourself on TV, and that's just 100%. Period. Now, let's go. Throughout the process, I felt like that Vernicia put too much on 10. I thought she was way too much. Now, with that being said, I'm an aggressive woman. So, I don't think being an aggressive woman is bad. I don't think every man can deal with it. I don't think every man can handle it. Point. I just don't. Some men, it's, it's just, you know. I know for myself, some men cannot handle a woman who is aggressive and strong and knows what she wants. There's always two sides to every situation. When Vernicia was talking about her and and Joelle everybody was thinking they were going to be the one when she broke it down she kept saying I felt like that he slowed down in my mind I'm like okay so he slowed down why was that a bad thing that he slowed down and I was talking to my sister about this this morning I don't think people put in accountability and she made a good point. This man have children. Yes, Venetia has kids, but her kids are way older than Joel's children. The man did lose his wife. So his situation to me is not the same as Venetia. She's been out there. She's been not saying he has not been out there. I said all that to say is that maybe for her, yes, yeah, she's ready. She's she's ready to find love. And I do believe that. Um, as far as Joel concerned, maybe he is not at that point of his life yet. Ready to date, but not ready to just, I'm in love, you're everything. Now, another thing I want to talk about. She made a statement saying that they had been intimate. And there is something else that came out, some more tea that came out this week. That spoke on it and said that um, Alexis was also, you know, intimate with AJ. It was somebody, another, I mean, Simone. Simone in her podcast. It was said. Now, with that being said, when a woman is intimate with a man, oh my God, it's like your feelings are on 10,000. His could be on one. Yours is like, oop, oop, oop. So, I said that because I felt like Vernicia and Alexis, their express the way they expressed themselves this season was super, super emotional. And I'm not necessarily saying like tears. I mean just emotional, the responses, their reactions. Because I felt like that this whole situation was an emotional roller coaster for them. I feel like that Alexis and Vernicia actually fell hard for the dude they were trying to, not trying, the guy that they were talking to and getting to know. Now, I might be 100% wrong about it falling hard or whatever, but I do think they fell for their potential, whatever. And the reason why I feel like they fell for them is because of the way they reacted to everything. Vernicia was so upset. And she was angry, but I always kind of feel like, was she angry or was she just passionate and upset and hurt? She said she was hurt. She said that she was hurt. You you know, you can't be hurt unless you care about somebody, unless you love somebody. No one can just hurt you that you don't give a crap about. Now, I also will go in and say this. I believe Vernicia when she said we, you know, we all went to sleep on the phone together, woke, woke up and like, da, 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 hey, I'll do my, she said she did her interviews and he'd be right there and vice versa and blah, blah, blah. I believe that. I really do. I do also believe that men don't realize it, that being intimate with a woman and doing things that look like you're in um, a relationship or things you may say. I think she said, he said, I'm only dating you or you're the only one I'm getting to know or whatever. And maybe she mistook that as we are in a relationship. I know a lot of women are going to drag Vernicia because I know there was a statement that he asked. Did you not say 
that you were going to slap somebody who touched me. Now, look, I think that Joel was looking at it like men do. It wasn't just about the physical. It wasn't just about how y'all were. I think he was also looking at this woman got, is going to be around my children. This woman's going to be represented as my woman or whatever. And there were some things that I think that he did not like. That he did not like. Okay. And I think that was part of his decision. When he was speaking about it. He even said. Because she made a statement saying I'm done with him. I don't want nothing to do with him. But from what he said he ended it. It was a bit cringy watching. I'm not going to lie to you. Very, very cringy. I felt like, ooh, like awkward for me watching. I'm just, you know, blogging it and also watching as a fan, viewer, whatever. But for Joel, I think his his situation, he's looking at it. I think he's looking at just at him, for himself. He's looking at his kids, his life. And when she said she wanted to slap somebody for looking at him or talking to him or whatever, I'm like, he probably was like, uh-uh, no man likes that. Now, for a woman, like, you know, some women would say, ooh, I like it when two men fight over me. Now, this is just a, you know, a statement. I'm not saying everyone feels this way. But for men, they don't like that. They don't want to see you fighting over. Some men do. But, like, the seasoned, older, no. No. And the way his life was set up with them kids, he was like, I can't have that. And I, I, I could just see it in his face. He was very serious. Most of the time, he's like, hey, baby, and all that other stuff. This time, he was like, no. When he asked her that, I said, that's what it was. Okay, and then she said she wanted to spend the night. He felt like that was too early and that was too fast. Again, he has two girls at home. Having her wake up in the morning with him. The only woman they saw wake up in the morning and do anything with their dad was their mom. It, it's a bigger stake involved I do agree with him that well I'm not gonna say it too soon but as a mother and if I had experienced something like that no there's no way no dudes coming around my kids are small like that and all these things and I'm a widow no no she probably didn't realize it at the time but yes I do think it was some stuff was too soon. I do think it was too fast for Joel. Now, I don't know that they mentioned it. The communication, he said he had an issue with it. I do believe that maybe he did not communicate anything to Vernicia, letting Vernicia know. Slow down, baby. Too fast for me. And the reason why I say that, because he was sleeping with her. And see, the thing about that part, that's not fair. Well, I'm not going to say fair because she's an adult. And he's an adult. They both do what they do. So I'm not going to say that. But to a man that probably feels like, hey, I'm sleeping with you. We cool. Ain't no. You got to think about it. Women, especially at this age, you're not just sleeping with somebody and we just cool. She's looking for something very, very, very real. Long lasting. Now, Vernicia, girl, now first of all, I have to say this. You getting upset with Stacy and Chrysanthemum. That part of the reunion, I was like, bro. Now, I'm going to admit this. When when the season was going on, you would see Joel out. Not like, like I saw him, but you see the pictures of him, but he was with the cast. All the cast mates said they went out uh, and did things or whatever with each other because they was doing filming together so they were kind of like you know like this is family we hanging out and she said she saw Stacy uh, put her hand on his chest I said when you like somebody or care about somebody yes watching interactions between a dude you like and another female is a no because you're going to get mad you're going to get upset if she put a hand on his shoulder or if uh, whatever but Stacy's face in uh, Chrysanthemum, I was just like, oh my God. Because they were looking like, what? 
because Joel said he's friendly. Now, look, Joel, now look now. You look like you're very friendly. I think the first time when I when I saw you, you met, not saw you, I keep saying like I saw him. When they were showing him at the one of the meet and greets, he had his uh, brown suede shirt. I mean, all this was open and stuff. I was like, okay. So, he is friendly. And he probably does flirt. Do I think Stacy and Chrysanthemum deserve for Venetia to turn around and be like, well, you know how y'all move and everything? I don't. I do not think that it was that serious of them hanging out. Because even Amber chimed in and was like, girl, you were tripping because he lost his mother-in-law and I wanted to just, you know, let him know if you need something, I'm here. And she said she would get upset about it if they would have did, went out or whatever. And I'm like, the thing with that with Amber, you still tripping on that little kiss on the cheek. It's the territorial for me. It's the He's mine, I got him all the time. That, I'm gonna hold on to my man and all of that. And see, the part that, and I hated to see her cry when she was talking to Dietrich, and the reason why I did is because it's like, damn, she did care a lot about this dude. And like I said, he still was sleeping with her, and you can't tell me he did not know. Not saying that he can read her mind. I won't say that and say that he knows exactly how she feels. But, bro, you can't tell me you didn't know that she felt something. You cannot tell me that. That it was deeper than just we're hanging out. We're just kicking it. Just kick it. Just kick it. Kick. I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. Let me get back to this. I can't be serious for too, too long. But. And then I felt. Oh, my Lord. I felt awful. When Tommy said. Do you want to pursue or do anything? Straight up, Joy was like, no. I was like, mm. So I find it. I've. I find it hard to believe that it was her to cut off. I feel like he cut it off. Cause just like he said, she when he the time he asked and he she said, I don't know. He was straight up and was like, No, I'm done. Thank you. So tragic. So Ciao. Jason told Kyra what it was and said it in front of Liz. This is mine. I liked her and I liked you, but I chose her. Pretty much what he said. Just not in those words. Okay. I guess KG and Amber are the couple that stay together on Ready to Love. Because Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Liz, actually two couples. I guess you want to look like that. Liz and Jason and Amber and KG. And that's it. And then with Simone coming out with the Alexis thing or whatever, that tea that I caught and posted, I'm just like, I didn't, let me tell you something too. I struggled with that. I struggled posting that. I'm going to tell you why. Because what a woman and a man does, I, even though I'm a blog, I do talk about these things. And sometimes I go back and forth like, oh, I'm a blogger. I know. It, it's tea that comes across my inboxes that I'd be like, let me report this. But I'm just like, ooh, because if I'm gonna report something, oh, uh, don't send me anything. I'm gonna put you on my video. You're going to interview with me, and you're gonna talk about. It. I'm just like, oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I also have, a, I do have a, a more compass. And if someone gets mad at me, and they do, for what I reported, is what it is. That's not gonna ever stop me. Let me make sure. I, let me get. Let me make sure I get the mic. Mic, mic check. It's not gonna ever stop me. Period. But at the same time. I think about these things because I, as a woman, I wonder how would I feel. I'm not, Simone's saying what she said because it was told to her or whatever. So it's not like she dug up the news and she was like, hey, girl, y'all ain't gonna believe, you know. Because the, the emotional, what I felt like to be, I'm gonna be honest, 
I feel like Alexis was sad the whole time. Not not the whole season. I felt like Alexis seemed so down to me. And if you are in love or, or, or close to in love with a person and you see them with other people and your heart being tugged, then I'd probably be sad too. For all the women there, it seems like it would be... And the men, I'm not going to count them out, that isn't a, it was a very emotional roller coaster of a season. David, you were wrong. You want to admit that you said something about some kids. I, ha- I don't have to be there. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. I don't have to be there. Something about the whole situation is right. Whether you live both lying, not lying, or whatever. The way you acted and what they said didn't want to get fired and quit. Yes. Perfect assessment. There's, there's nothing you can dance around. Every statement you made did not answer the question. You left before you was fired. And you didn't want that to happen. Some men have some products like, I don't want to be let go. Not going to happen. I'm going to let you first. I'm going to quit you first. That type of situation. Mm. Oh, Lord. All right. Look. I love Ready to Love and we'll do DC and I cannot wait. But the one thing I will say if DC watches this recap. If you're going to do it, do the process. Worrying about who he's zooming who he talking to is going to ruin your process. Why he's talking, you should be talking to. It shouldn't be just one person. That's what Venetia messed up at. I'm sorry. I know they were saying that people didn't want to talk to Venetia because of the fact that she didn't want to have any more kids. I understand why she didn't want to have any more kids. She's 40 and she got kids that are grown. No. But should that cut off a date because she don't want to have any more kids? That's an, that's an excuse to me. Then people say, well, I'll come talk to Vernice because of Joel. No, that's not, but I, I don't know. I don't know. So, that is my review. And I just, I summed up. I've been breaking down this whole entire season. Interview with some of the cast and everything. Enjoyed it. But I just had to sum it up. This la- this This part two was child I think Venetia both her and Joelle both were wrong I mean were the cause of what happened it wasn't just on one person I think her coming after Stacy and Chris was wrong because Chris and Stacy had nothing to do with what happened with her and Joelle they just went out and hung out and you didn't like it but I, it, it, it could have been anybody. It could not. It could have been Stacy. It could have been Chris. It could have been any other woman. Look at how she snapped at Amber. So, ready to love reunion part two review. We are done with the season until until next season. It's, I mean, it's not sad because I'm doing other stuff. But mm, yes, I'm gonna miss doing a, a recap every weekend but i'm pretty sure some crap come up don't think i won't but look i'm not done with ready to love yet coming up at 12 central time i have an interview with ida chris chris anthem okay and stacy today at noon central standard time make sure you go check out their live the live is pre-scheduled it's already up go and hit the like button go share it go type in the comments if you want to hear your responses, you want Stacy or you want Ida or you want Chris to answer your questions, you better join that membership. Join the membership and type in the chat. I'll see you guys at the next live, which will be coming up at 12, probably. Hopefully on time. All right. All right. <laughs>